Yes, um, I've been a fan. I always start my interviews by giving flowers. I've been a fan of you since, probably since I was like two years old. So I just wanted to give you your flowers. You're definitely an acting icon in, in our culture and around the world. So got to give you your flowers Aww. to start. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Um, so I love seeing you, you know, on our TV screens as the holiday just passed. I swear I just kept seeing you in all these amazing holiday movies. I'm just like, I love seeing her face. I love seeing her on my TV screen. But with this film, um, it's kind of one of your first major lead roles in like a drama thriller type of movie. Tell me a little bit about that. Like I've known, I know you've done uh, thrillers and dramas before, but this is like your lead role, All Eyes Are On You. Um, tell me about like that transition going from, you know, um, warm, you know, heartfelt um, movies to something that's more serious like this. Uh, it's definitely like, you know, it's a tone change. I, I, I kind of go about it in a similar way, you okay. know? I'm, I am interested in the character and, you know, go, go into it, like, at first super excited, like, oh my gosh, I get to do this. And not just a dramatic lead, but to two roles, you know? Um, I love, you know, I have sisters and I love that bond between sisters and, um, especially twins. So I love that was so exciting. And then, it, you know, as the, as, as the day approaches, as you go on, you're like, what am I doing? I'm gonna mess this up. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> then the fear comes in after, <laughs> after. Well, from what I've seen, you did an amazing job. So oh, thank kudos, you. kudos, kudos to you. And you actually uh, segued into my next question. Tell me what it was like, it was kind of your first time playing a twin. And like, when I, when I see amazing actresses like yourself, playing two roles, playing twins, I'm always like, how does it look so real? Like, how does it really look like there's two of them? Like, from the parent trap, I thought Lindsay Lohan had a twin sister for the longest. So tell me, <laughs> so tell me about just playing two roles and, you know, the, the, the back and forth that you had to do with that, which you made look so amazing. Um, thank you, first of all, but it was, uh, it's, it's rough, especially with this, um, story because there's like, there's, you know, a lot of violence and like, there's a lot of, um, hard emotional stuff, but I, I had a lot of fun. The, the, the makeup, hair and costume department, like they were my refuge my kind of saving grace because we filmed this in about three weeks which is you know it's a real tight schedule and so sometimes I was both sisters on the same day actually almost every day I would go back and forth back and forth and just it's cool because you're not only like trying to figure out the individual characters but you also want to figure out the relationship between the two of them um I ended up having uh uh, a really great stand-in who you know was down to you know just work with me and and um keep it going that way it was it was a feat and it was it was actually it was really when we were done filming i was like okay i'm good <laughs> <laughs> it's like I this, this, my, i'm glad my twin sister here. character right well you did yeah. like such a good job i couldn't yeah. tell there was only one of you so kudos to you for that um, I wanted to ask also, what was it like working with Jasmine Guy? And it's it's crazy because, you know, I grew up seeing her on, on my TV when I was younger. I grew up seeing you on my TV when I was younger and just seeing these just examples of cool, intelligent, sexy, beautiful Black women. It, it did a lot for me. It, it did a lot for me. So I, I wanted to ask, what, what was it like working with her? She's amazing. This is actually my oh, third time working with her, um, you know, over the years and all in totally different things. I think the first time was probably on Fresh Prince and I don't think, we maybe interacted a little bit, but not too okay. much. Okay. Um, I did a Christmas film with her um, for a lifetime. And then this one, which was a totally different vibe. And we, we I just, I could act with her all day long, round the clock. Every that. day. It's just felt so, she's so, um, she's so good, you know, and she's so there 100%. And um, 
you know, this Jasmine guy, like, uh, I mean, um, icon. <laughs> she's an icon and it's hard, you know, when you're working with her, like in the trailer with her, like not to remember, like, all of these iconic roles that she played, you know, like Harlem Night, yes. and like, yes. and like, and, and Whitley too, all of them, all of them. Yes. And yes. Um, she's somebody that I admire and looked up to, you know, um, as as a kid. And she's just dope. she's just amazing. And I love that she, I love that she was the lead detective. I was really excited when she signed on because I think initially the part was written for a man. Mm, so okay. yeah so even preparing I wasn't you know I didn't have her in mind when I was doing my work until later on and um I was just so excited that she said yes and then you know that I got a chance I'm so, to work. I'm so glad to hear that like I just love when you know our queens are amazing in real life that that, that does a lot for me so I'm not yeah. gonna take too much more of your time just to wrap um as I mentioned like I grew up with seeing Jasmine, seeing you on my TV, and you guys are like, she's like the triple OG, you're like the double OG of, you know, 90s, <laughs> 2000s <laughs> TV. So I want to ask, you know, with all these reboots that are happening, you know, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air just got a re uh, reboot. They're even talking about rebooting different a different world. I wanted to, you know, as the, the OGs and triple OGs and double OGs, I wanted to ask you, like, what are your thoughts on reboots and, and just, um, you know, taking our like 90s, 2000s nostalgia into this, you know, this time. I think it says something about, um, it's just amazing to me that a lot of those concepts and those shows and characters are still relevant. You know, some of it's, it's some of it's nostalgic, but some of it is also, you know, they're just characters and relationships that like, there's something, I don't know. I, I've tried to, to to figure it out myself because I really enjoy them. Um, I just I just think if you have just like excellent storytelling characters, you just it's easy. You just can't get enough of them. There's not. I I I love it. I love that 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 it still means something to people. You know, I think it's cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to. Uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot um, with the whole cast. We've all been talking about it, mm -hmm. and um, and you know, hopefully, I think we're going to be able to see something soon. So I'm excited That's about that. It's going to be really cool. awesome. I can't wait. I just like whoever plays Ashley Banks needs to be the flyest, the most beautiful, the most because you are my favorite character of Fresh Prince. I just had to say, it. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> But yes, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I can't thank wait you. to see you in, in this different light, in this drama thriller where you're the lead. And also playing a twin, it's just, it's a lot for you to put on your plate, but from what I've seen, you did such an amazing job. So just wanted to give you those flowers and, and say thank you for Ashley Banks. Thank you for your, your artistry just as an actor so over all the years. Like you did a lot for us young black girls. So. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Thank you so much, Katia. Thank you so much. Thank for your you, Sydney. All right. Happy New care. Year. Happy New Year. So happy New Year. The whole month of January. Right. Listen, we still gonna say it. It was a rough year, and it's a new one now. So. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you